John here. Today is Sunday, the 21st of May 2017. Uh, just recapping from yesterday, on the 20th, was Saturday the uh, uh, Upper House of Parliament for the Maori um, Government. Uh, usually have their meetings on the 6th of February, or the 4th, 5th and 6th of February. They have uh, re-enacted that date on the 6th of February to this date, the 20th of May 2017, to reform and to re-establish the Whakameninga flag. This flag here, the 1835 side of, um, of its uh, jurisdiction with this government in Wellington. Uh, and they want to raise the flag onto the shipmast. Now I'm going to tell you right now uh, that they're trying to do that when this flag has two sides of it. I explained in the hui there with the chiefs that there are two sides. One, the 1835, which is mixed up with the 1840 treaty, as a contract with Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth II. That's that side of this flag. But Previous to that, the flag of the 1834, King William IV, direct, founded this country through Captain Cook in 1773 and reclaimed through the uh, 1834 uh, flag with Clendon as the captain of the ship of Admiralty the Fortitude, HMS Fortitude, he was the magistrate court with the native chiefs, Pumare, who sold the land to him, a Ngāpui chief. And so that formed the basis of the contract of land sold and bought to the Crown, which is King William IV, 1830-1837. So you've got the 20th of March, 1834, that title contract, private contract of Admiralty. That fixed the founding of this country. That was the flag of New Zealand from 1834 to 1840 when the government here from New South Wales legislated the 1835 out and put the 1830, 1840 flag of ship, the um, um, Union Jack flag, 200 miles out to sea on the land and claimed it as their founding document of their contract. So, in the meantime, we still have a contract with the King and that's what I'm saying at that hui in the Parliament, Upper House, that's the Upper House of Parliament of the Maori Government of this country. It's been like that for a long, long time with the Confederation of Chiefs. And so the Confederation has changed its leaders, its chiefs, to make it confusing on the 1835 side with the 1840 treaty mixed up in it. In fact, it needed one straight king's court, which is in the paddock in the tent that we, we put together, uh, as the Titi Marae and the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Grand Jury Court on the king's contract, separate. So I'm bringing in the king's contract in front of them to tell them the story of the 1834 Clendon and Pomari contract with Terawaikato Farahirehe in Manukau in England through um, Edinburgh and the real estate company there called the Manukau Company with the Manukau title, native title put together there by Waikato Manukau and uh, Captain or Lieutenant. Uh, 23rd Reg Regiment Navy, Royal Navy, British Navy, uh, Magistrate Court. And so now we've had that contract straight to New Zealand and Captain Clendon selling lands from 1820 to 1830 and from 1830 King William IV reigned monarch, sovereign, of this land as the Crown lands of England or Britain, UK. So now the um, Manukau title is for the whole country. 
that Pumari was starting to sell it. Then Rewhara from Manukau, a descendant of Te Rewaikato Wharahiri in Manukau, was selling land at the same time to Clendon. In Auckland, you see, I put it online, with the 65-page writ book that we got authorised and passed through the Upper House Court with the four Paramount Chiefs I have appointed because Mohi Manukau, the successor of that contract with the Freemasons in Awaroa, which is Helensville, with the Rogan and the Awaroa Native Court, put together the bank, the Akaroa Bank, which became the BNZ Bank of New Zealand. This is where that started. BNZ went to the League of Nations, League of Nations went to the uh, UN, and the UN went to the World Bank. That's our bank, created from Awaroa Bank with Rogan. And he's the magistrate court with Mohi Temati Manukau, Paramount Chief, appointed me as his executor of that trust and his inheritance under the Three Masons title business. And so that had nothing to do with the, na the natives of this country they call Maori. Anyway, I'll go on with the uh, writ warrant. These are the three writ warrant books I've got um, to send one to the British Navy, um, First Lord High of the Sea, um, um, Philip Jones, uh, Royal New Zealand, Royal British Navy, uh, Admiral of the Sea, title, and he's our partner, he's our legal partner. And so one goes to him, one goes to Theresa May, Prime Minister of um, um, England, Britain, UK. And so, um, and the other one I hold as a copy, so I'm just putting this online in front of you now, that that's the book, and I'll just go up and lead up to the signature that the chief signed, uh, for Paramount Chiefs that I appointed. So now we have the first page, the, uh, uh, as affidavit, written, proof, video, fact, Evidence, fact, evidence. Maui Crown, Paramount Chief, um, allodial title, historic allodial native land title owner of Aotea New Zealand. So they're the commercial landowners. And then this, that's the first page. And then the second page is affidavits of truth here. Okay. And um, we've got a watermark in the back of King Ernest Augustus, uh, the fifth and his wife, uh, Princess Caroline of Monaco. This our oath of office goes to him as the successor to King William III, King William IV, and um, our partner, live in England. And we've got... Um, Affidavits of truth videos as statements of facts. So this video I'm doing with you, I'm showing you this, is our statement of fact that no one refuted so far. They've had plenty of notice to refute it. Now this seal here is the citation. Uh, Moai Crown, Manukau Company in the UK. Fact evidence. 20th of May 2017. So I've dated everything for yesterday to make this official force law. This has passed through the Upper House of Parliament yesterday in front of the Chiefs and the Hapu's Chiefs. Whoever's turned up, that's what matters. Who turns up? For the whole country, because we invited the whole country to come there and Hapu's from here and there turned up. So here I've got all this history of Mohi Manikau and I putting together uh, his history and my history on the, uh, I'll get to it, the Whakapapa or native title that was used uh, to claim that title. And I better show you, I showed this to them, the native title of the Wānoa, the Rogan and the Manukau families joined up with Manukau, the Freemason of 50 years, as selling the lands, as the uh, legitimate com commercial landowner. Okay? So he's the successor to Te Rawaikato Wharahere Manukau, 
living in England. They put the native title together for New Zealand and Pacific Islands and the world. Okay, so that's him and our whakapapa to the four main tribes to claim that paramount chief's title in England. So it goes along to page uh, five uh, with the story that I'm putting together, six, and that's all the story between me and Mohi Manukau of over six years. We've been together over 22 years working on this. And he told me everything about the Freemasons, which he's not supposed to. But then I've disclosed it to you. I've disclosed it to the world today. I'm disclosing it now uh, to you in the world. Nothing but the truth, so help me God. There's the signatures of the Paramount Chiefs and myself, the Sheriff. Okay, and dated. Right, that's uh, Chief Kingi Taurua. Uh, the successor to uh, Queen Victoria Trust and to King Ind Edward. King Edward, and you've got uh, Manahi Parapara Mohini there, and you've got Bundy Waitai there, and Selwyn Clark for the British immigrant here, living here with partnership with these Paramount Chiefs. He's a Paramount Chief on his side of his lineage to Britain and to these native chiefs. So I've appointed him to represent the British side of the contract that we have with the Navy and Admiralty title, the Magistrate Court. This is the Magistrate Court here. These chiefs that have signed, Selwyn Clark as being more English, the Clark name. The other names are indigenous. Waitai, Parapara is the Manukau, taking the Manukau title, right? That's the Moriori title. Manahi, Mohini, Parapara, or the other way around. And um, Kingi Taurua, Chief Kingi Taurua. So this is official. This is the commercial landowner's title to New Zealand and Pacific Islands and the world. Okay, so you've got the, um, you've got the, I've got to watch the time for this video to make sure I don't uh, run out in the middle of it. So you've got the um, birth, deaths and marriages, the Waitangi Marae District Land Birth, Deaths, Marriages Registry, uh, the County Court, Waitangi, New Zealand and Plymouth, England, UK claim number. These are the claims we're putting through the courts and we're going there to England. I've been told to get the schedule while I'm thinking about it to go to England to Westminster and to have a delegation go and to arrange all the itinerary for the trip from this. Okay, we had a meeting last night late and also with the um, president of the Maori government there. She was there in attendance. She's from where we come from on our land blocks, Hikurangi, Mount Hikurangi. And she's a paramount in herself, but she's handling the 1835 decorative Declaration of Independence side of the flag, and we're handling, the men is handling the 1834 side of this contract. So that's all I wanted to tell you, that uh, they have signed it officially. And then that's page 7. Page 8 is the claims we got on the land we're first taking out. I'm not going to read them. You can get it offline on Facebook, download it on the PDF on our website, moaipowerhouse.com. M-O-A-I-P-O-W-E-R-H-O-U-S-E dot C-O-M So we've got the stamp of the Notary Public Manahi uh, Mohini Parapara Mohini <coughs> and he is the, uh, um, the magistrate to transfer the titles from uh, the Lynn's New Zealand or the Crown Corporation New South Wales New Zealand back to the British Crown system. We're going under the British landlords of England under King William the, the Fourth, 1830 to 1837, him and his seal of the eight point star, St. Patrick. We're going to, we're using his laws and the laws of King William the Third, 1650 to 1702. We're using those laws back then in this writ warrant in our own federal state government. We're going to erect in 
Cornwall Park, Auckland City. And we're going to seize Cook Street with this writ warrant and use that as a base till we get the uh, federal state government in dual government with Britain, UK. We're in dual government with Britain, UK. I'll announce that on this uh, title, uh, certificate title, straight there to use those titles back to where they came from under this magistrate court. So we've got here Captain James Reddy Clendon, the purchaser of this contract of the land, and Paul Murray, the second King Paul Murray, the land seller, okay, the chief's land seller. Uh, we also have a referee for Manukau standing right here. He's not the one with the uh, taiha in his hand. Yeah, this one here. He sold the land in England to Simons, the magistrate into the Crown Magistrate Real Estate Court. Okay, as the landowner, Crown King William. King William. Okay, I'm just telling you this book. And King William's Crown, his seal on his horse, and his ship in the background of that eight point star, the St. Patrick's Red, uh, Red Chief. Uh, revenue collector or the collector of land rates, rents and uh, fees for the lease of the lands and the occupation of land leases and also occupation titles. Okay, so the British, British Crown, we're seizing the lands put back into the British Crown under our confederation of uh, our federal state government um, on Cornwall Park. <clears throat> That's where it was transferred from Aorau, uh Native Court in um, Helensville. That's where Mohi Temati Manikau, uh, the fourth Paramount Chief, um, put together with Rogan. That's where the bank started from. His ancestors, Refere for Manikau, and Te Rewaikato Farahere Manikau put the bank together. The Akaroa Bank that was started there in Aorau and then it went to the BNZ Bank. That's where this trail of our trust started from. Then that went to England, and then 1837, when King William died, it went into Queen Victoria Trust. That same trust of that bank that started off there is our account. Okay, so then we've got the church here, St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki on my Wanoa land. I'm speaking for my own self, and uh, Reverend Wanoa and Reverend Ka. Um, Ka being K-A-A -A or K or C-A-R-R. -R. The, the Ka is the British uh, surname uh, in partnership with us as British immigrant with my Wanoa family. Okay, so now at the present time, our chief down that area in, in Tiki Tiki, Rangitukia, is Rapata Ka. Uh, KAA is my partner looking after the business of the Wanoa land and it's Rahui Marae in Tiki Tiki. Okay? So that registry and birth certificate came off the uh, uh, ship of Admiralty uh, HM, HM42 with Captain Clendon in Hicks Bay. That he got off his ship, he went up to Whakawhitira and took these birth certificate titles of our uh, names in our Wanoa family registered them as bonds on the stock market in New York that um, uh, William kept King William IV put together before he became king in 50 of these years. Okay, So that's our entity and our stake in the claim of this title over this land and the whole world. So here we have the Nukutere Waka from Toi Kaidaka, that's my whakapapa, to, from him to um, Te Kahaki to Wānoa. That's the, the line of the Cook side of the title. You've got the Moni, Manukau, Moriori Manukau title, then you've got the Cook title to the land, and uh, Bundy Waitai is looking after that. So we have Bundy Waitai, Manahi Parapara Mohini, um, Heriwini Karaka, that's Selwyn Clark, and Chief Kingi Taurua as the oldest um, member there of the tribe and the indigenous native and Selwyn Clark is the oldest uh, British immigrant, surname um, Clark, looking after the titles as well. So that's our partnership, and that's Tiki Tiki, where I live, uh, with the Marae uh, up here, the Rahui Marae, 
my Rahui Marae and my Wānoa Urukā gravesite. This is the title to New Zealand, the Manukau title. I put it through with him in the um, six years before his death. I put the title together with the Rogan family and the Wānoa family in the British title uh, claim at Awaroa in Helensville. So that's that one. That we're on page uh, 11 now. I'm just watching the time go by. Um, 2.20 and when it stops. So there we go to the title that I've showed you here. This one. In Awaroa. We put this together in Awaroa, uh, Helensville, on a 10 acre block. The, uh, the piece of land that where the native court was is still marked in the 10 acre block in uh, the main street in Hel Helensville. Uh, that Bohi here uh, with his uh, 50 years in the grand jury or the uh, Grand Lodge um, uh, Freemasons uh, that was strictly a secret not to tell anybody. So I've told you now, the whole world knows. So uh, then I have no, um, nothing on my own uh, that I can't share with everyone um, from Mohi. Now we have his carving here of the four main tribes, Aotea, Waikaro, Aotea, Waikaro, Te Arawa and Ngāpuhi here. And that's the only four, he says white eyes off to the left, but these are the main tribes uh, that I'm speaking for and connected to the Nukatere Waka as well, the Moriori and the Nukatere Waka. The uh, Moriori's uh, country land was uh, Rekohu, or they call it Chatham Islands, that was a country that belonged to the Manitos and the Paraparas. Okay, so those two families go together and Mohi Manukau here with Kingi Kaurua chief here with the flag. Now, um, and the other two chiefs, successors to them, two chiefs there. So, um, Kingi is of Rahiri, Ngāti Rahiri tribe, uh, and so he has a direct claim to uh, Hongihika, and um, Mahi Manikau uh, has a direct whakapapa to uh, Te Rawaikato Wharaherehere, British res resident. We have British citizenship from this title, uh, from now on, now that it's gone through the parliament there on the Maori side, back to the indigenous native side. So that's what we did there yesterday. We have made this official announcement, notification and publication, and also uh, um, uh, a default warrant notice of seizure on the people we have named in the writ warrant here. As all the names are there, if I have enough time on this video, I'll call their names out. And so, um, uh, I'll carry on going. You see here 1831, and the other dates of the years are 1837 when King William IV died, and Queen Victoria reigned from then on from him as her as his niece. And so they had a direct relationship there, and King Itaudua takes the title of Queen Victoria as his um, ancestor. So all the other... Uh, um, places where the people have settled on came after 1831. So the 1831 is the real first title here claim to this country and it's the Manukau title. That's the certificate of titles. Every certificate in this country comes under that. Now here is Reverend Wānoa and Reverend Carr in Tiki Tiki. That's 1831 where the first British put the first Church of England up in this country. And that's linked back to Parnell, at the St. Mary's Church in Parnell, Auckland, as being part of that process of um, colonisation of this country. Now here we have um, the receipts. You start seeing the receipts of um, sale and purchase agreement with these contracts. The uh, real estate is the sale and purchase agreement contracts. They are private in the Admiralty Court uh, as being nobody's business. This is a two-way straight to the Crown in buying and selling property. So we are seizing all the land back into this Crown title from those who have defrauded us in this country. <clears throat> and so the birth certificate of Mahi Manukau is here, and the Manukau is 1830, saying, I was here. And I'm saying with this map of the, um, the um, Tiki Tiki, East Cape, uh, East Coast, and all those other dates of years on the map is saying, I was here in 1831 with my sailor surname, my family and I saw you turn up um, in, in 1831, Captain Clendon. Okay?
those, those people in that time that are hooking themselves to our title. And so King William and his coins, gold coins, those are our trusts. All that gold that's missing in the Philippines belongs to us and our trusts. Okay, that's the title of the um, carving of the four main tribes, the four pillars here in the parliament here. Right, the parliament and the chiefs sitting in parliament, that's yesterday. Yesterday, that's us yesterday, sitting around in a circle here. And with our karakia in the middle, the god, our atua, uh, to bless all our work. And this is the British here, coming in, and all the overseas countries trading with us in this one. And this one here is the Manihiri coming in from the other tribes around New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Okay, that's the Fano going across there, joining to the Fano of this other tribe and joining to these other ones. So you've got <coughs> Altea on the top, Tānui, yeah, Tānui. Um, um, Napui. Then you've got Kafaru the giant. Of Waikato, Otea, Waikato, there, second one. Then you've got, um, oh, I can't read, I can't read, Tera Waikato, Farahere, Manikao, Waikato, the third one. And then you've got Tamati Kapua and Tuhoro Matakaka and Tu Ihinga, the successor was Ihinga in the Kaiparas, here as being Te Arawa. Okay, that's the main tribes. And that's our uh, title, that's the Memorial Native Title to New Zealand and Pacific Islands and the world. Okay, so we're on page uh, 17, that goes to affidavits again, written affidavits, so, so that's that one. Okay, so I'm, I'm just showing you so that it's on the record in the courts, that we're showing you our... Evidence. That's Chris Finlayson there, the Attorney General. We are billing for all the fraud that's going on, the Panama Papers, and their photos here. You see John Key, the Queen, is the biggest fraudster now. So we're going to seize the trust. I'm going there as the head of the trust, uh, Queen Victoria Trust, that she's the head of, and Prince Andrew as trustees, and the King and Queen of Spain. We're sacking them all, and I'm going in there to replace her on our trust. And the Rothschilds, Banks are in there as for treason, right? They've caused treason on our contract between us and King William IV and the British Navy and military, our protectorate. Um, there, so that's that. And we've got, and the Pope, the Pope's, the Pope's are here. Okay, so that's the debt instrument against them, the pound note, 970 million trillion trillion pound note. And Mohi Manikau signing the document between him and I with the, this um, agreement between him and I, he, he appointed me as his executor and administrator of his business. So that's why I'm saying all the stamps are here. Signed, countersigned by um, Eli Manikau, the son. He was in Malta at the time. Eddie right. Monica signed on that end, on behalf of that end in Britain, for the Monica on this end. Not to say that he has any claim to this, he does not. This is a free nation's title, and he's not successful to that and the wealth from it. He's not part of this um, group here of Paramount Chiefs in New Zealand. He doesn't live here, he lives in China somewhere, and but he's not resident here with these chiefs. So it's the Paramount Chiefs that I've I've uh, appointed that has claimed to all this inheritance title and because he didn't come when his father died and that's gone against him. Now you see here 1833 and 1834. 1833 was when King William um, um, proclaimed this country was found by Captain Cook in 1773. That's when he told, um, made it official in writing to James Busby, that New Zealand was a British state country and that the flag was missing. So in 1834, a flag was given as the flag of New Zealand, still is the flag of New Zealand under this contract. It is the, the government here to prove that this is not true. 
it, in fact it is true. They have to prove, they, they felt silent, they felt silent, and there's nothing they can do because it's passed into law now yesterday. This has all passed into law yesterday on the 20th of May 2017. So this next page was from Tamaki, Makoto to Auckland. So this is the title transfers and from the Scottish people that came to Pupunga Pa, the Manukau lands from the Manukau title in Britain, UK, Edinburgh, Scotland. Um, the the um, uh, fee simple titles was made there and sold the lands from there to here. And when they got here, the New South Wales government was already set up and took that title from the Manukau's then put those people, displaced them onto Avondale and um, Hillsborough and also Point Chevalier. Uh, our flag is flying in Chev Point Chevalier now in the RSA, Return Servicemen, on the Anzac Day, this one this year, with King Itadua. He's put the flag up, it stays up on the 1834 side of him being military and also Selwyn Clark being military. Both military men go together with this title as <coughs> war flag. This is a war flag, declaration of war and a state of emergency to seize all of them back because of the financial fraud. Now here we have this sale and purchase agreement between Referee for Manukau by himself, Rokina, Rogan, the uh, real estate agent magistrate court uh, in, in Auckland, Akarana, Auckland, and Clendon, the Captain Magistrate Court, right, from Okiata Magistrate Court, Clendon, and him as being a travelling magistrate to Awaroa Native Court in Helensville that created the bank uh, there, the Akaroa Bank, to bank all the revenue from New Zealand into the King's Bench Court. Okay, that's our Magistrate Court is what this is, the title with these four paramount chiefs. So that's the, the connection of the Salem Purchase Agreement, which is a private contract, nobody's business. That's what I said in front of, I declared this all in front of the Chief, the Hapu and the Fano. So that goes on to the next page of some of the writings of the Manukau Company in Edinburgh, Scotland. They put together all these titles. Now we're going along further um, on to page, we'll try and get through because it's 1.57 and 20 minutes past, I've got 20 minutes to go to put this together for you. And we're on page 28 of some more of the Europeans who went coast, west coast provided industry in lumber and sawmills. So the story goes on and how the Scottish people, the gentry, were speculators of land and money and uh, other trading um, businesses and um, hardware and also guns and um, farming materials for sheep farmers and engineers. Okay, so we've got the, the seal here of Moai and King William the Fourth. Our seals and seals these documents. The, these document writings are unique to me, its author and writer. So there's nothing in here that I'm borrowing from anybody else but my own words. And here's the citation here for the 20th yesterday, which says, citation, in brackets, Moai Crown, in brackets, and in brackets again, Manukau Company, registered company that sold the lands and the Manukau heads on Mohi Timati Manukau's lands, Referee for Manukau's lands, from England with Te Rawaikato Farahere in Manukau over there, the Moriori chief that the Crown picked. No, he didn't pick a Cook Islander as the, doing the documents, the title. He didn't choose uh, Hongihika to do the title because, because Hongihika wasn't interested in this side. He was only interested in guns and shooting people. And that was his trademark. Uh, so we've got Ma Ma Manica Company in brackets as a registered company with shares in the Manukau lands. And UK fact in brackets is evidence 
20th of May 2017. So that's a statement from me in front of the Hapu, the Fano, and the Paramount Chiefs. And so we go on to um, King William the Fourth and King William the Third together. King William the Third put together the Bank of England. He created the Bank of England and the Pound Note. That's our levy debtor instrument against everyone we're billing, bill charging. You'll notice the eight point star on that they are uh, wearing um, King Ernest Augustus the first and King Ernest Augustus V living at the moment 64 years old and his wife legitimate Princess Caroline of Monaco and Queen Elizabeth approved their marriage into the monarch in Westminster and myself wearing the regalia and the photo of King William IV in our court hearings um, in Auckland they are won my case against the CRB police and the landowners occupiers there. We're going to seize that land now with this authority and the Paramount Chiefs will do that. Okay, I'll just check who's knocking on my door and make them run away. <clears throat> um, just hold on a second. I don't have anybody. No, don't worry. Uh, so well, that's page 29, and we'll go to page 30, uh, which is the pound note here. Okay, page 30. All these pages are sealed uh, with the um, um, seals of King William IV and Moa. And that's Prince Caroline of Monaco and King Ernest Augustus V, reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover, and all the New Zealand Pacific Islands, and the 250 countries in the world of the Federal State Government of Altair, New Zealand and the Paramount Chiefs, okay, and myself, the Sheriff, and my staff. So that's a um, 970 million trillion trillion pound note, it's green in colour, and also we've got the um, coat of arms and, and our, gold, our gold dragon as being for the gold that's missing. There's 1.5 million tons, metric tons of gold in Thailand, um, Philippines, that belongs to us. We're using this brick warrant to, to uh, seize it back with the British Crown and uh, the British Government and Navy, our partners in this country. And we've got um, we've got the agreement here. I've just got to remove Jamie, Anna Marie, Patrick Stewart, Nata's name off here, and uh, because she's no longer with us in these contracts, she didn't want to be on there with a contract she signed. Uh, and I put her electronic signature in it, and I'm removing it from there. So that was the end of that, and uh, we'll agree to that, and the end of that. Now we've got the seal here on the end of the page of the two um, main memorials of King William IV and Moai's statue. Okay, that's my title, the Moai, to my royal Tahitian family. Of Wales. The, the declaration of war in 2002, this was put together with the confederation I'm in then, I was there with them from 2000 year, the year 2000, I met Mohi Manago in 1996. And so we've got all, I won't write, read them, you can read them online, but I'm just uh, verifying each page uh, of this writ warrant and its jurisdictions. Now here we have the title of New Zealand, here. Yeah whole of New Zealand, both islands and Stewart Island and Chatham Islands here and all the other countries that are in the Cook Islands are uh, included in our title and the Pacific Islands for that matter. So that's that one, that's page 33. Here we have the Rothschilds, we're building the Rothschilds by the King William IV here. Page 34, some writings there and uh, we've got King William again and some more uh, with him again, uh, just uh, uh, making the Prince William open to New Zealand Supreme Court for the mystery judge and there was no recognition of this William, he had nothing to do with this King William, he didn't do anything for it on our Marae and come and acknowledge King William the fourth flag and so that's the end of him and his side of trying to claim this title. Okay, so for the British um, Queen and her royal family, you can't 
take this title of King William IV in, and their owner of Brussels, the land of the Netherlands there, and the world uh, court belongs to us. That's our title because we are his partner, the King William III and King William IV partnership, ship. Okay, so that's our title on the East Cape and Tiki Tiki here and the Uru Park, the burial grounds where the motel is in, in Lotton Point sitting on the Uru Park right there and we're going to seize that motel back off them and all the lands right through the Potikirua in Waipu area of my claim to my ancestor Uetaha and uh, Te Kahaki and also Toi Kairako and that waka. We're going to seize the land of the waka. We're going to, in fact, we'll seize any lands in there. And our title here to Maui in the three points on this earth where the sun shines on those three parts at the same time on Haha ha Block at East Cape. We're going to seize all of that too. And that's the uh, Nukatele Waka to Cook Islands here with my Wānau Tahitian and um, Cook Island family, the Kaitas on my mother's side, is that Waka and it's titled to Toi Kairaka and Te Kahaki. Okay? So that's what the joining matter with Cook Island. So we've got Moi, Manikau and the Paraparas joined to our families with the Moriori title. And so those were there first. Those have been verified from Britain on the title certificates. All the certificates of title. We're not talking about the land so much here. We're talking about the certificates that are on the land to hold the land as security of investment. So I have to remove um, Jamie's name off the title and their photos of the pound note is going to come right off because it's a conflict now because of what... I'm using her signature as for the Patrick claim to that fortune she cannot use now, that eight point star because that's that's confidential patent property rights of King William the Fourth and us and the King William the uh, Third and the Saint Mary's uh, Church titles to these contracts and the documents in it. Okay, so that's that one. Now we're on page um, 38. This is the uh, flag, the designing of the flag here, this one. Okay, so that's that to Britain, straight to Britain, and it became the flag of New Zealand. That's why it's sitting on that ship mast at uh, Waitangi Treaty Grounds. It's there because it's sitting on the cross rung, it's going to go up the top. It'll go up the top not as of 1835, but as 1834. So we're going to leave that for later until we get the land, then we'll put it up. And Kingy knows all about that. Um, so then we've got the Whakapapa, that's on page 38, 39. We've got uh, Toi Kāraka, Whakapapa, to Te Kahaki, to uh, Wānoa. Okay, that's on the Cook Island side. And uh, Rāpata Kā put that together. Him and his reverend of the St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki, straight to Britain. And that title supersedes the title of the land title in 1834. The birth certificates is a higher form of title certificate to the live person than a dead, dead land title. Now this is the Whakapapa here, uh, Rungu Whakata here, and Rapa to put that together. I can explain that another day, I'm trying to fit the, the all this into this video. There's the, the title of the uh, captain of Nukitele Waka here. There's uh, our titles to our Whakapapa. I've got other Whakapapas as well, but this is the true one from the church. And we take the church uh, register as being the certificate of title over the land as life. That's the uh, another Whakapapa, um, page uh, 42. And this is the um, Uripa uh, um, details and the motel at the lot point we're going to seize. I'm putting this online because it's a writ warrant of execution, possession, control, and seizure and uh, uh, arrest of property and demolition. Okay, it's got all those matters in it written, and we're going to seize this with this one. But the uh, paramount chief will go in and seize it. <coughs> They'll seize the haha -ha block and also the um, um, uh, 400 Lotton Point Road from the Woods family. 
uh, Brownwood, the land I warned you, we were going to take those lands, and you put your nose up to it, as if you're hiding behind the crown, and your crown is going to be taken over again, once again, by this crown, the King's crown. So this is the church, St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki, that put the register of births and deaths and marriages together with our Wānau family. Our Wānau royal Tahitian family was the first to go onto the register as a certificate of title over the land, the live persons over the land, and we've always had that. That's at 1831, and the Urupas go with that. Um, so that's that one. This is Okiato Native um, Court House in with Sam, Captain James Reedy Clendon. On the 20th of March 1834, he was buying the land for the Crown, King William IV, from Pomori the second, King Pomori the second, the native chief. So King William the fourth estate of uh, King William the fourth state of emergency war flag, that's what this is, of New Zealand Pacific Islands. So that's a, a declaration of war flag here. And Kingi Taurua and Sowen Clark or Herawini Kaka are acting for this declaration of war flag. And that's the part I didn't tell them uh, at the uh, hui yesterday on the 20th of May 2017. I didn't mention because I was pushed for time for 10 minutes to squash in as much as I can. This is the Panama Papers. We're taking John Key. Uh, you're already in charge. You're going to get the bill now from the Sheriff and you'll lose everything. We're going to seize you with this writ of control and writ of possession, repossession and demolition order. Uh, uh, arrest warrant that can arrest you and hang you to for your crimes and your treason and your crimes of church and state. There you are in your picture, John Key, right there, the wanted column. And you get your name in there. There's the other police in there as well. There's the Queen. And also the Governor General, uh, Jerry Matiparai Andrews in London. That's the Marae. Uh, we opened up the Marae King's Bench Native Court, Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. But that's a native with the chiefs, Kingi Tauru, and Hohepa um, Apiha, and Muri Peita in there um, as well. And there's the debts against you, John Key. Declaration of War, this flag, is a debt against you. The creditors are us, the chiefs, the paramount chiefs, and the sheriff here, myself, and the magistrate court. So that's you, and also um, on here, your bill of one billion trillion pound note here with the two chiefs, Refere for Manukau, uh, on it, oh, Te Rawaikato Wharahirehere Manukau, and Hongihika in England. Okay? They own that, and the gold dragon for the gold that's missing. 1.5 million metric tons of gold is missing, plus. So that's against that 970 million trillion trillion pound note that is on there as well. On that we have King Ernest Augustus, living king, legitimate king, reigning monarch king of Britain, UK. <clears throat> okay, that is our partner in business. We have more right to the uh, inheritance of King William IV and King William III through this contract. And now here we have the first Scottish colony for New Zealand, here. Okay. <coughs> So that's that, and we have the writ warrant. We're going on to the writ warrant. Writ of execution, demolition, and possession order used by uh, President Duterte and his um, uh, people in the Philippines to seize the land back into their ownership with the gold attached. And that gold belongs to us, and we're using this writ warrant to get that gold back. We, we, we will leave it there in storage and pay him for the... Um, the holding of that gold and every other gold in every other country that's been stolen as well. Uh, so this the other part of the writ warrant there. I just put those there just to show you that they're sealed, sealed with the seal of King William IV Memorial and Moai Memorial to the East Island and to New Zealand. Standing in Dunedin and Auckland, New Zealand. A certificate of the Sheriff returned, that's what I'm billing with the power note, okay? We're billing with, and I'm the sheriff, and my nephew will take over from me on that job, and others he will train. And that's the data instrument here with 
King Ernest Augustus and his wife, legitimate, Princess Caroline of Monaco there, right? So I'm working in with them and this is a message to them that we are coming to Britain. I'm arranging all the travel and accommodation and the transfers uh, in, in Britain uh, to come and see you and to go to Westminster to take this title to claim that inheritance. And the HM Treasury, we're doing an audit in there and a, um, to replace the Queen as the head of state of the Queen Victoria Trust, the King will seize the whole lot of all its assets and its businesses back into the King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court where it came from in the first place. And there's the letter from uh, Karen Hudes. We go on to that next of the World Bank. She was the lawyer for the World Bank that she's um, exposed all the fraud where we base our claim for the 970 million trillion trillion pound note and their Rothschild banks and all the property that belongs to the Queen belongs to us now, the King Bench Native Court and my Crown King William the Fourth Trust is taking over to the Queen Victoria Trust. We are seizing that trust and all its assets, its businesses and all its certificates of titles and all its um, um, <coughs> investment interests. We are seizing all that. These are, all these pages now are from Karen Hudes as cited with the seal, cited with the seal. Here, cited with the seal across the top there of all these documents. Now we are on page 42, 43, page 43, page 44, there's the rest of everything, and also uh, page 40, 45, Wolfgang Struck, and his claim on that gold that belongs to us, and also Karen is trying to claim it as well. There's the power note with Desmond, my nephew, and he's standing next to Moai Crown, the crown hat on his head, is the basket of knowledge. This is our Tahitian native royal family title, and he's claiming it to back to us and to return to us. It's standing in Dunedin, and the one I've got my photo on is standing in Auckland, and King William there we put on to this power note, okay, and the Kiwi the bird, the native of this country. Okay, these are titles that that's a one billion pound note levy debtor instrument we're going to be writing out against all the debtors in this country. That's page uh, 57 and this is 58 with more uh, information cited. All these are cited and sworn as truth in truth, deeds of truth titles. And that's page, um, page 59 here, 59, and we're on to page 60 now, 60 here, there, 60, page 60 sealed, and we're on page 61 here.